So hi everybody and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 5 tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 57 and in this video we will spawn our created AI. <clears throat> there are different ways and I want to show you a very simple one. And let's get started. First of all, we go to our game folder, we create our new folder which we call blueprints and in this blueprint folder I will create a new blueprint in this case i right click it i go to the uh, blueprint class select it and here i select actor in actor i call it with the convention bp for blueprint underscore in disk uh, and the name is trigger uh, spawn ai and then i open up this blueprint i dock it here on the top so i can switch it very easy and then in blueprint here i add a new thing and the new thing what i want to add is a box collision box if you write box it pops here up and it's a box collision i can stay and stay box and you can see when you select this box here again what we have and this box collision what you see here should be our trigger box so when we walk into it here in the scene, when we place the box collision here anywhere, we, our character will walk into it and when it walks into it, it will spawn anywhere here in our scene uh, in AI. So, and how we are going to do this, very simple. We will switch here to the event graph because this is the coding section and we need nothing here. So I can delete all the starting notes. And what I need here is I select here this box and I want that this box reacts to something because that's why it's called a collision box. It will collide with something. In our case, it will collide, uh, collide with our character, with our player character. So when my player character is walking over, it should activate a code and then it should spawn the enemy. And how we are going to do this? First, you select again the box. Here in details panel, you scroll down and we have here some activation options. And in uh, my case, but uh, I will choose here, which I choose on component begin overlap. So this means when something is overlapping this box, you can activate it and I will do it. So, and before it can go on, it has to check what is overlapping this box. This is something like a condition. And in my case, I want only that this code will be activated and go on when it's the player character. So we have to cast it to the player character character and use this other actor. So here I go in, cast player character, but in my case, it's called BP uh, Infinity Warrior. This is my player character. So this means only when the box is overlapping this character it will continue to do something after this in this case a spawning thing if it's overlapping for example any other ais or any other character it will not spawn it it will only spawn when our player character is overlapping it and how we are spawning them there is something called like a spawn actor from class spawn actor from class and if we do this we can select our ai for example in my case i have here two ais ai it's called ai so i select this bp ai i call it right here ai i have here this blueprint created enemies i select one of them and then i have just to select one more thing that's very important uh, where should this AI spawn? So we have to define a transform point and I use here a very simple trick right click on this split uh, right click on the spawn transform then use split struct pin and I define the position with numbers this kind of stuff you should not do later because later you have not uh, the code probably available when the player is playing this will be later generated or get any in another way but for this demonstration let's write numbers in and in my case i will write here for example a number uh, from this scene and there is a very simple way to get uh, these numbers to visualize these numbers what you can do is just get here find a dummy object for example this cube um, 
and then you can press and and what we need with this dummy object this dummy object means here in this case it is an object which we are not going to use but we use the information and in our case i go here to details uh, panel then i go to transform i'm and i'm only interested in this location and when you see when i use now move this object you see what happens this changed uh, this updates the location points and in that i'm interested for example i'm interested in this point but this is a little bit uh, hard to read so i say 2000 2000 and around 50. so i go here and i write here 2000 2000 and 50 and i know it should uh, spawn anywhere here later now i can delete this object this uh, cube because i don't need it anymore it was just to get the information of course there are other ways too but this is only one way so that said we have almost set this up and sometimes this spawn can cause a problem with the set value because it can be too yeah if the character is a little bit too big or uh, something like that and the spawn point it's not uh, available you should spawn this a little bit higher let's try 55 and see if this is better compile save and with that said this setup for our spawn ai is finished mm. then the last thing what we have to do of course is set this blueprint here in our scene so our character can walk let's do this we go to our blueprint we grab it we drag it in our scene and there is one more thing what we can do we ha can make this visible in our scene so i have not to search where this uh, is for development purposes only later of course you should not uh, show the a player that you want spawn something when they are crossing an area or something like that so in my case i won't make it visible how i can make this i go to my blueprint I select this box and then I type here uh, because it's too long to find it. I type here hidden. And if you write hit or something like that, then you see rendering hidden in game. And if you check uncheck this one, only for development, it will show in editor where we can see it. So when I start this one, I should see it. No, I don't see it. Why not? Of course i have to place it first too have i not placed it okay no i have placed it actually it's here i can't see it then let's place it a little bit oh, let's check one more time yeah it's now in front of me now now it's here and of course if you want to change here yeah, a little bit the um uh, the box extent and so on but this one is just for test purpose so which what happens now if I cross it, it should spawn. Let's test it. And it spawns nothing. That's very bad. So let's see what the problem is. We go fast in our blueprint. We go here and it says this one. It spawns the AI. And probably it's the set value. Let's set it to 60. Because I had uh, any uh, anyhow problems. I don't know why. And let's check it one more time. Let's see if this is spawning. Yes, now the AI is coming. So, and you see now I have spawned it and now I can make a fight scene here with the AI till he dies. And I want to show you one problem here. Look the AI, what he's doing, but now I spawn one more and you see what happens. This AIs use the same animation blueprints and if they use the same animation blueprints, something like that can happen if it's not uh, yeah if it's not made good uh, so what i want to point out is um, we solved this problem here by creating different animation blueprints with different ais this is one way and this works which means we have to create all time a new animation blueprint for every enemy and we can't spawn the same enemy with this uh yeah with the again and again there is another solution but right now i don't know it i can find it and implement it but right now we've used another solution which is very simple 
and I say I just spawned this one, then I spawned another one, and if I want more, I just create again a new AI and change the animation blueprint. Uh, or I create, I change just the animation blueprint, yeah, something like that. This is just for test purposes anyway. So how we can do this, because we have still a problem here in our code, because let me show what I mean with that. When I go in, it comes and I can go in and it would spawn this again, right? So I don't want that when I come in that it spawns this one again. So we have to make here something like a check and the easiest way to make a check is there are different ways again is just make a, a branch and a branch means I check something and depends on the check I say yes you can spawn it or no you can't spawn it so the first check must say yes you can spawn it and a good way to check is for example with numbers and there are many many other ways but numbers are all time nice and easy because we can create a number here. We go here to the variables. I click here on plus and then I write here the number, for example, enemy counter, enemy counter. Then I change here this one to a uh, integer because integer are numbers, in this case, full numbers. And then I can use this number for this check. And how I'm going to use this before I use it, I have to compile save. Now I have a default value when I click on this one and should have this and here i should get this one and then i have this one here and you can see i have here a default value now and this default value is zero so that's good and then i get this and now i can say for example and there are millions of ways to do it this is just for demonstration for example i say if it's equal to zero which it is actually at start then you should spawn this AI. But if you are not equal to zero, for example, then you should spawn, for example, the next AI. I copy this note here. Uh, and then I write here AI2, the next AI which I created, in my case, BP enemy AI2. And not the same location. Perhaps I should uh, move it a little bit. Let's move it. Uh, 2500 here something like so and then i have to connect it and how i connect it because i have to connect it in false because i say because i check here if this variable is zero if it's zero it should spawn this one if it's not zero it spawn this should spawn this one but um uh, we have to do one more step. We have to change this uh, enemy counter here anyhow, right? Because if we don't change it, it will all time stay at zero, zero, zero. It will still spawn all time this one. Easy way to do. At the end of this spawn actor, we just get this here again as a setter this time. Uh, here as a setter, not as a getter. And... You can, uh, you can make this a variable and make a plus plus or some code, but easy way is just set it. Uh, for this demonstration, I use this manual setting. In general, you should later not use really manual settings because if they are all time changing, then you should find a logic how they set and reset themselves automatically in code. But in this demonstration, I say after the start point which is zero set it to one the next time when i come in it's one which means this one will be false and it will go here down and after this false i have to use again the setter because uh, it will it will be all time one and if it's all time one it will go here then here to false and uh, would spawn all time this again and i don't want this also so what i do is just uh, copy and paste here and change the number here one more time and this time i change it just one more and this uh, number two doesn't exist what happens is it comes here it checks if this uh, is zero it says false then it uh, sets to q and then it comes here and then we have a problem 
because this one would probably not work too because uh, yeah, perhaps it works what's the problem is it uh, goes here it says it's false then it gets, uh, goes here so we need here one more checker right that was the problem and how we solve this very easy we make here a branch and then this false case goes into this branch and then we copy this one here here down and write instead of one uh, zero one and go here and now we have view and what it should do is actually if it's zero if it's one it should go in if it's two it should just mm, go to this false branch which is nothing so that's it it's, it's not too complicated i talk to probably too much <laughs> for an easy thing but this works actually let's see we are here we start the game and here is my box when i overlap it it will spawn there is my first one i can fight him and i overlap now again the box this is the second one and he is even patrolling or doing something what i have not set up petrol for this guy uh actually this one is the wrong one Ah, interesting. I have not set up petrol for this one. Because this one, what you see here, is actually the quick uh, start one. This one I wanted not spawn, actually. But you see, it works also with this this AI. It is this AI with the behavior tree, with the AI controller, and so on. Actually, I wanted not spawn this one because of a certain reason, which I change fast. AI... Uh, in this case, it's just the AI, I think. Or was this one AI1? One? Anyway, let's write it here. AI1 then. AI1. So, now I have the right ones. And, yeah, let's test one more time. Here's the first one. You see, he's not reacting. And the reason for this AI is, uh, I have, we, uh, when I created this AI, he had a certain radius. And... Normally, I could make a petrol uh, uh, way too, but I have not coded it for this one. I can make it. Now he is just idling till he till I come close enough. And if I'm close enough, around 1000 units, then he is sensing me. And now he is uh, walking. And if I'm running away 1000 units before the animation is finished, you see, he can't see me this is just a simulation later you should adjust this while you are developing and here he can't see me i run again thousand units away before i uh, i could not but now thousand units yes i'm away thousand units it works so let's test here the second ai oh no here's again there let's run here so let's test oh man <laughs> okay let's test this way so here this is the first AI, and now let's test the second AI, and sh I show you something. Here, this AI is just ch chasing me all the time. This was the setup. Uh, he don't care about perception any if, uh, anyway. He has no perception. He just walk to my location. And you can program with that gameplay now. Interesting gameplay. So you can spawn an AI who is chasing you no matter where you are. And then you can create an AI who is chasing you only if you are not fast enough to run away. For example, I can run away from the other one, but from this guy here, I can't run away. I have to fight him no matter what. So, and with that said, almost finished. There is one more thing what I wanted to show you. And for example, I could now spawn the quick start ai here too let's do it why not it's very easy we just copy this one paste it down and this is just for demonstration anyway and change here some numbers instead one it goes to two so i write here two i write here three that will work and here i write for example now my ai two, which is this quick start ai with the AI controller, but I still use here no controller, nothing like that, right? Because this is spawned BP actual from class. And let's test this fast. 
and you see what happens here this is one only when i come close enough this one will chase me you know what uh, whatever or what and here is the other one this this ai he can't see me and if i'm if he can't see me again the other one he is too slow i have not changed his speed then yeah you see this works but what i wanted to show you here is actually something else and what i wanted to show you is that here exists another node and what is this another node let's show here i drag out and write spawn not actor from class oops spawn not actor from class ai from class and if you use this node here uh, you must be a little bit careful because you can't use then this two AIs which I created in another video because these AIs are actually random actors but I coded them so in blueprints that they can behave like AIs right a little bit not so powerful the other one which you see here this spawn AI from class is asking for an ai controller and is asking for a behavior tree like that so if we want to use this node we have to set this on so for example in this case i would say now ai2 that was this one from the quick start and if i compile it will give me a oh, normally an error it's interesting it's not giving an error let's see what happens instead of here uh copy this down to here and this one we delayed so that was just for demonstration and here's this uh, ai from class let's see if we can use this one too because this is the other and normally we should uh, it is asking perhaps for a behavior tree that's very strange i have not used it so i don't know it too but we can check one two three and Anyhow, it's not coming. So we have a problem. It's not even coming. And why it's not coming? Actually, there is a problem. That's why it's not coming. Uh, let me see what the problem is. Two, it goes false. This should be okay. Should be okay. AI two location. Uh, it is coming. That was the location. The problem. Okay, let's make location two thousand. For this one and 1000 for this one and 60 for this one that was the problem that's why it showed no error or something like that i think so let's test it and one two where is it two and you see the ai spawned on the other side of this map almost but he is there a work and he's patrolling right he has no sight of me let's let me walk to him a little bit so that I can fight him soon. Now, when he see me, he should react. But right now he's doing the walk animation, and now he realized me. And I have forget to set the changing the uh, speed and so. And you see, yeah, this is all what I wanted to tell you. This is a fast testing. This is a simple setup. This is not the right setup for later gameplay, but it works. And one more note here this trigger box of course later is used in gameplay for example you enter an area and then this trigger box will be triggered and the ai can spawn in front and start his patrolling or is there before you are close enough to see them this is gameplay setup but with that said i think that's enough for this one and in the next video, we will set up a little bit fighting, perhaps the widget with life and so, and so, yeah, a little bit more and more. Okay, see you in the next video. And like all times, if you have any questions, ask in the comments and I will try uh, to answer them. And with that said, bye.